Hi everyone, I'm Rick Blackwell from the Education Network and this is the School District of Palm Beach County's Grand Battle of the Books. Now, last year the competition was virtual, but we are back in the studio for the championships. The Grand Battle of the Books competition is sponsored by Library of Media Services with the support of Educational Technology, Information Technology, and the Education Network. The book titles for the District Battle of the Books come from the Sunshine State Young Readers Award and the Florida Teen Reads List. Titles for the state-sponsored reading programs are selected annually by a statewide committee of school library media specialists. There are 15 books. I've got four of them right here. Gives you some insight into the, how thick they are, how many pages they are. To read all 15 is quite an accomplishment. Now, throughout the school year, students have read and discussed the 15 titles in their age division. In the first round of the Battle of the Books, they participated with other team members and they answered multiple choice questions in an online competition. After hosting the competition virtually last year, as we said, we're excited to be back in the studios of the Education Network this year. The top two teams from the age division join us today to battle and to determine the champion of this year's Grand Battle of the Books. And we are happy to have the Assistant Superintendent for Teaching and Learning as the official timekeeper. Also, Stephanie Sunshine from Library Media Services as the official scorekeeper and Lisa Seymour from Library Media Services will be our contest judge. Copies of each title used in the Grand Battle of the Books, they're available for reference. I will ask teams the questions that will begin with the phrase, in which book? And the teams must answer with the name of the book and the author. The first team that makes it to 125 points will be crowned the winner of the Grand Battle of the Books. We will make sure that each team get asked the same number of questions. Now in the high school division, we are pleased to have teams from Dreyfus School of the Arts and West Boca Raton High School. So let's meet these reading superstars, starting with the team from Dreyfus School of the Arts and their captain, Abigail Hart. Abigail, first of all, welcome back. How you doing? Pretty good. Good to see you. You've actually competed now a couple years, right? Yeah. Tell us about the team name, how you guys got it, and just what's it been like um, kind of practicing and being together with this group of literary superstars? So our team name is Big Juan and the Traveling Blondes, and because we have Juan, and he's really big, and we <laughs> we're all blonde and we traveled here, so we're the Traveling Blondes. And do you guys get together from time to time, talk about books? Has it been fun kind of being with like-minded students who really are into books? Yeah, it's fun being together. Uh, we haven't gathered so much this year as we did the last year's to practice and stuff, because it's just hard to get together in person, but yeah, it's good to talk about the books. I, we have a group chat where we talk about them. Let's meet Megan. Megan, if you could just kind of introduce yourself and just tell us one thing about yourself. Hi, I'm Megan, and I make digital art. Okay, and, and Abigail, tell us one thing about you. Uh, I'm Abigail, and I brought my lucky Hatsune Miku belt today. Okay, cool. Hi, I'm Kaylee, and I'm on my school's yearbook staff. All right, Kaylee. Hello, I'm Juan, and I'm a violist. All right, now the team from West Boca Raton High School. Maya Sood is joining us from West Boca. Maya, hello, welcome, how's it going? Tell us about the team name and what's it been like being with uh, this group? It's going good. So our team name is the Reed Bulls because we're the West Boca Bulls and because we are high schoolers who drink energy drinks like Red Bull, <laughs> so that turned into Reed Bull. Did you get a corporate sponsorship by saying their name? Sadly, no, I wish. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have to work on that. Yeah. Um, I wanted to ask you if you could just say your name and just a little bit about yourself, and we'll go to all the contestants right now and kind of get a little bit of insight into who they are. So go ahead. We'll start with you, Maya. Okay. So my name's Maya Sood, and I'm interested in medicine. All right. Good. And go ahead. Uh, I'm Joseph Gonzalez, and my favorite book is The Hobbit. My name is Mary Angel, and I like listening to classical music. Hi, I'm Natalie Fortin, and I'm Florida State Chapter President for Girls in STEM. I'm Carla Zalamar, and I really like horror books. Well, I'm really excited to get into the high school competition. We're going to start asking the questions. Now, we're doing it in reverse alphabetical order. So, Wes Boca, you're going to get the first question. You guys ready to get this thing going? Yeah, yeah enough talking, right? Let's get it started. Question number one goes to West Boca Raton High School. In which book does a character's inner conflict over sexual preference and religious beliefs make saying grace at dinner just a habit?
Not So Pure and Simple by Mark Dial. That is incorrect. Dreyfus, in which book does the narrator spend several months in a hospital with a group of women she calls the Nothing Girls? Uh, they Went Left by Monica Hess. That is correct. West Boca, in which book does an ancient spirit use a teenager to stab her boyfriend to prevent him from escaping through the last gate? Rules for Vanishing by Marshall. You got it, good job. Dreyfus, in which book would you find the quote, I stared at him, unable to speak as the blood drained from my face because he was right. I made myself vulnerable without even realizing it. A Legend Born by Tracy Dion. That is incorrect. West Boca. In which book does the main character feel conflicted about his identity? The Black Flamingo by Dean Adda. Correct. Dreyfus. In which book does a character imagine a running clock above his or her head throughout the book? The Hive by Barry Liga and Morgan Baden. That is incorrect. West Boca. In which book is a character resigned to wear a coffee-stained article of clothing for the foreseeable future? The Hive by Baden and Eliga. That is incorrect. Dreyfus. In which book do we meet a character who is half black and half white, half Cypriot and half Jamaican? The Black Flamingo by Dean Adda. That is correct. West Boca, in which book was there a video entitled, The Time I Almost Killed Myself and Why I'm Glad I Didn't Succeed? Not So Pure and Simple by Lamar Giles. That is correct. Dreyfus, in which book does the story of Ruby Bridges give a character the courage to walk into school? This is My America by Kim Johnson. That is correct. West Boca. In which book is a heart shaped by the words as the author talks about the shape of certain birds' necks? The Black Flamingo by Dean Adda. Correct. Dreyfus. In which book does a character sabotage a television interview? This is My America by Kim Johnson. Correct. Over to West Boca, in which book does the main character say, quote, before the site was a camp, it was a pharmaceutical factory. I'm still using some of the office supplies they left until our own shipments arrive. They went left by Monica Hess. That is correct. Over to Dreyfus, in which book does a character say, quote, I promise I know more about him than you think I do. But as they say it, a seed of doubt was growing in their mind. The Hive by Baden and Liga. That is correct. West Boca, in which book does a character catch a basketball to his grill? Not So Pure and Simple by Lamar Giles. That is correct. Over to Dreyfus, in which book does a group of six teenagers call themselves the Wildcats? Rules for Vanishing by Kate Alice Marshall. That is correct. Over to West Boca. In which book does the protagonist navigate with a map carved into their skin? Fable by Adrian Young. Correct. Over to Dreyfus. In which book does the narrator find a hope chest in the closet of her abandoned, ransacked childhood home? They Went Left by Monica Hess. That is correct. Now over to West Boca. In which book does the character give advice that is, quote, creepier than any tiny monster, ghost, or demon wandering door to door in other parts of town. Legendborn by Dion. Incorrect, Dreyfus. 
In which book does the principal not believe two students' accusations of bullying because of her own prejudices and wrongly citing past patterns of behavior as her justification? What I Carry by Jennifer Longo. Correct. Over to West Boca. In which book on her first night of school, a college student sees a golden-eyed boy who uses magic to hypnotize students and a girl who carries a bow and arrow in her back pocket? Legend Born by Dion. Correct. Over to Dreyfus. In which book does a character ponder the fact that an AK-47 in a white hand has more rights than a black kid with Skittles? Stamped Racism, Anti-Racism, and You by Jason Reynolds and Ibram X. Kendi. That is incorrect. West Boca. In which book does the main character hide a family history in the lining of her brother's jacket? Went left by Monica Hess. Correct. Over to Dreyfus. In which book does the main character in second grade see a gutted pig hung from hooks and realize meat is from animals and decide, quote, red without flesh is a good diet? Here's my Today, Tonight, Tomorrow by Rachel Lynn Solomon. That is incorrect. West Boca, in which book would you find this quote? I keep having these moments where I'll remember things so clearly and know exactly what I'm talking about only for people to tell me I'm wrong. They went left by Monica Hess. That is incorrect. Dreyfus, in which book was a digital weapon created for the war for decency and good behavior? The Hive by Baden and Liga. That's correct. Over to West Boca. In which book do the college kids go to Eno River State Park after hours to jump from the cliffs into the lake? Legend Born by Dion. Correct. Dreyfus. In which book does a main character give birth to a baby she does not want? We Are Not From Here by Jenny Torres Sanchez. Correct. Over to West Boca. In which book does a pregnant character fall out of a crowded bus? We Are Not Here by Teresa Sanchez. Correct. Over to Dreyfus. In which book would you find this quote? All I'm saying is, you need a date. He's available. It's not like you're strangers. He saw you at the talent showcase last year. Date Me, Bryson Keller by Kevin Van Wy. Incorrect. West Boca. In which book was a teacher formerly the, quote, leading lady of daytime TV, playing both roles of twin sisters, hero and villain? Warren's Speech by Don Zolidus. Incorrect. Over to Dreyfus. In which book is a character embarrassed to admit that her whole life fits in her blackbird bag, a pillowcase? that she keeps in her suitcase. What I Carry by Jennifer Longo. Correct. Over to West Boca, in which book is a character rescued in the desert by the sister of someone who had shaved the character's head for lice? We Are Not From Here by Tara Sanchez. Correct. Dreyfus, next question. In which book does a scar lead to a treasure? Fable by Adrian Young. Correct. Over to West Boca. In which book does one character tell another, your face is like a children's book, easily read? They Went Left by Monica Hess. Incorrect. Next question goes over to Dreyfus. In which book are musical artists Biggie, Tupac, Michael Jackson, and Prince referred to? Grown by Tiffany D. Jackson. Incorrect. West Boca. In which book does the main character apologize on screen to avoid being killed? The Hive by Baden and Liga. That is correct. All right, I think we've come to the end of our first round. You guys are doing amazing. Congratulations to both the teams from West Boca Raton and Dreyfus School of the Arts. We are gonna take a quick break. We're gonna have another round coming up 
right after this break. But again, thanks for watching the Grand Battle of the Books right here on the Education Network. We're coming right back. <laughs> Safety doesn't happen on accident. Buckle up, pay attention. And never drive with an impaired driver. We're all counting on you. Welcome back to the Grand Battle of the Books. Hi everyone, I'm Rick Blackwell inside the studios of the Education Network. This is the high school division, we've got two amazing high schools and some pretty incredible students that have been working hard up to the, this event, getting ready by reading several of these Sunshine State books. And again, uh, our, our really our big thanks to West Boca Raton High School and Dreyfus School of the Arts for being here today in the finals of the high school division. Uh, this is the uh, second round. We're gonna get right back at it. And uh, Dreyfus, you have this first question, so let's begin. Um, this question is, in which book does a character decide, quote, I only have the right to tell my story. This is My America by Kim Johnson. That is incorrect. Over to West Boca. In which book is a character's favorite band, a group called Free Puppies? Today, Tonight, Tomorrow by Solomon. That is correct. Over to you, Dreyfus. In which book does a boy use a family history sewn into a scroll to find a new sister. They Went Left by Monica Hess. Correct. Over to West Boca. In which book does a character have constant struggle with their unruly bangs? Today, Tonight, Tomorrow by Solomon. Correct. Dreyfus, you're next. In which book does the narrator realize a boy is not her brother when she finds a book of Polish fairy tales in a table, or on a table, in the library. They Went Left by Monica Hess. Correct. Over to West Boca. In which book is a university built on top of a system of secret hidden tunnels and caves used for escape routes, easy movement, and storage? The Hive. The Hive by Baden and Liga. That is incorrect. Dreyfus, in which book would you find this rule? Quote, keep your head down, disappear. Make them forget you so they don't consider your competition. I read this book. This is My America by Kim Johnson. That is incorrect. West Boca. In which book can you find the quote, lightning can't strike the same place twice, but thunder is omnidirectional? Chrome by Jackson. Correct. Dreyfus, in which book are characters required to bring a key and a partner to participate in the game? Rules for Vanishing by Kate Alice Marshall. Correct. Over to West Boca, in which book is death described as, quote, the sprouting of weeds, weeds that work to strangle whatever's living and growing around them? This is My America by Kim Johnson. That is incorrect. Let's write this over to you. In which book do characters communicate through burner phones? This is My America by Kim Johnson. That is correct. West Boca. In which book did a character muse, quote, I, feel, I felt like Arya Stark, a cheerful young girl with a murder list. Warren Speech by Don Zolidus. Correct. Over to Dreyfus. In which book does a researcher of the paranormal try to conduct an exorcism using a language that seems to be Aramaic? Rules for Vanishing by Kate Ellis Marshall. Correct. Over to West Boca. In which book do the characters sleep in hammocks? Fable by Adrian Young. Correct. Over to Dreyfus. In which book would you find this quote? My gaze returns to the woman, and as her eyes lock with mine, something surges through my body, something that breaks me into a million little pieces. Legend Born by Tracy Dion. That is incorrect. Over to West Boca. In what book does a character claim that a character had become their, quote, alarm clock? 
if alarm clocks had freckles and knew all of our insecurities. Today, Tonight, and Tomorrow by Solomon? Correct. Over to Dreyfus. In which book does a character wonder what it would be like to be someone who'd feel safe in the presence of law enforcement? This is My America by Kim Johnson? Correct. West Boca, in which book does a character think, quote, I'm crying, and even though I know what happened, I keep hearing my voice like it's coming from someplace else, like it's not even my own? Grown by Jackson. Incorrect. Dreyfus, in which book does a character state, quote, this isn't about race, this is about the truth? This is My America by Kim Johnson. That is incorrect. West Boca, in which book can you find the statement, quote, this isn't the be all end all, this isn't the whole meal, it's more like an appetizer, something in preparation for the feast to come. Warren's Speech by Don Zolidus? That is incorrect, Dreyfus. In which book was a game of Pictionary a stepping stone to achieving a desired outcome? Warren's Speech by Don Zolidus? Correct. Over to West Boca, in which book were patterns of data the solution to solving the problem? The Hive by Baden and Liga. Correct. Over to Dreyfus, in which book does the main character answer the question, quote, what are you, with, I am a medium, born from the earth. I am blood crafted, born from resilience. I am Arthur, awakened. Legend born by Tracy Dion. Correct. Over to West Boca. In which book does a character give the gift of a tub of Philadelphia cream cheese with a red ribbon around it and two bagels? Not So Pure and Simple by Lamar Giles. Incorrect. Over to Dreyfus. In which book does the main character not want to be tethered by anyone and feels they are impeccably reliable, so earn the right not to be under surveillance? What I Carry by Jennifer Longo. Correct. Over to West Boca. In which book does a character... We have a winner. That's the bell that uh, tells us that we do have a winner in the high school division. What an exciting competition between two amazing high schools, West Boca and Dreyfus School of the Arts. We're going to hand out some medals, tell you who is the champion this year, and we will be right back right after this. <laughs> Think making a threat against a school is a joke? Think again. School police respond to and investigate every single threat, including those made on social media. Under state law, violators could face a second degree felony punishable by up to 15 years in prison. If you know of someone making a threat, don't share it, report it. Download the Safer Watch or Fortify Florida app today. Welcome back inside the studios of the Education Network. Hi, everyone. I'm Rick Blackwell. Really proud to uh, talk about the high school division, grand battle of the books. We had two amazing schools. We had West Boca Raton High School taking on Dreyfus School of the Arts, and I'm joined by Lisa Seymour from Library Media Services. Wow, you deal with these high school media specialists and these students. How impressed are you with the level of dedication to read so many of these books? I am so impressed with the level of dedication to read these books. These kids have so much work in their classes, and they have found time to read these 15 incredible but very long books. It's amazing. There were 15 great books. It's time now to tell uh, all of you at home who won the competition in the high school division. Let's first start with the second place team. So Lisa Seymour, tell us who is our second place team this year. So after an amazingly close competition, our second place team this year is West Boca High Reed Bulls. All right, Reed Bulls from West Boca Raton. Lisa, I'm gonna let you grab the uh, silver medals 
I'm going to kind of do a do si -do with you over here. Uh, that means that Dreyfus School of the Arts, and we're going to talk to them in just a second, they are now a champion for the third straight year. But West Boca Raton, boy, they were so impressive this year, and uh, I'm so proud of everything that they accomplished. They had tremendous teamwork. It seemed like a lot of them kind of read individual books, and then they came together to sort of answer the questions. And just a reminder that there was an online competition that there were many high schools that wanted to be here on the final stage, but in the end, it was West Boca that got to this place and came in second place. And Maya, let me just talk to you a little bit about what it was like to be a part of this competition. How much fun was it to be with kids that like to read and to sort of enjoy the process of, of really understanding and learning about books? It was really a lot of fun. It was a lot of camaraderie. It was a lot of being able to discuss your interests with people who won't judge you. It was nice. That's great. Well, we wish you guys all the best. Congratulations on your second place. Ms. Cannon, can you come up here real quickly? What, tell us about this group of uh, special students. What makes them such a great group? Well, they're amazing, and all of them have been with me before for the battle. Um, so it's really fun to see them finally qualify for the grand battle and just see how much they've progressed and how much they love reading and love discussing the books. All right. So we've had well, a lot of fun. <laughs> It was close. It was really close this year. Congratulations to the team from West Boca. But that means our first place team is? It is, again, for the third year in a row, Big Juan and the Traveling Blondes from Dreyfus School of the Arts. Congratulations. Lisa's going to get the gold medals. And wow, what an accomplishment. You know, this group has been pretty much together the last three. It hasn't been there's like different kind of pieces added or subtracted. It's been this core group of four. So obviously, they work together. And uh, they uh, have been incredibly efficient with uh, coming up with their third championship. And Abigail, let me just kind of ask you, uh, same question I asked Maya, what's it like? Obviously, you guys must like each other to be together for uh, th the third straight year. But what, what was it like working with these other three? It's really fun. One of the best things we like to do is like have fun in our group chat. So we make jokes and make memes about some of the books and some of them about each other and how slow we are reading the books. <laughs> um, <laughs> Yeah, so we we spend a lot of time talking to each other about the books and each other. Megan won't brag about herself, but we, we've got to give like her a pat on the back. That was amazing to read that many books in. I know you guys were a great team effort, but what an accomplishment. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Megan carried, you know? <laughs> <laughs> great job to the entire team from Dreyfus School of the Arts. Just these are some final thoughts. What do you thought? What do you think about this high school division? This high school division was the closest competition I've seen uh, in any time I've been at the Battle of Books. It was unbelievable. I'm so impressed by these kids. And Dreyfus School of the Arts will get their name on the uh, Kavanaugh Cup. And just tell us real quickly about the Kavanaugh Cup, what an honor that will be for them to take this back to Dreyfus. So this cup was named in honor of Kim Kavanaugh, who was a longtime member of our educational technology uh, team and a huge supporter of the Battle of the Books. And it's a wonderful honor to bring this trophy back to your school. Two amazing high schools from the school district of Palm Beach County. West Boca Raton High School is our second place team. And once again, defending champs now for the third straight year, Dreyfus School of the Arts. For Lisa and all the judges out there and all the media specialists, I'm Rick Blackwell. Thanks for watching the High School Division of Grand Battle of the Books.